All right, so what we're going to work on today is the fist. Now, I've been looking at uh, some people's uh, drawing, a number of people's drawing, to see where people are lacking. And uh, one commonality that a lot of beginner artists have is doing the fist, doing the fist. So what I said to myself was maybe I'll do a short video on the fist and just kind of like help people out a little bit. So this is what this one's going to be about is just drawing the fist. So what I'm going to do is use some reference because it's always great to have a reference. So I'm going to use this guy, his fist, and I'm going to use my fist as well because this guy's fist is a little small. So, but it's good to see it as you draw it or see the real thing and then when you draw it you say oh that's right it's right instead of just me drawing it and you say oh I'm gonna draw just like this guy but it's good to have reference always have reference so let's start out with the fist now one of the, the most common things I see that people do when they do a fist is just basically just square like that and some fingers and that's m most times the fist I mean that's like the real beginner and then they might have like a thumb or something down here and that's how they do their fist but it's it's a little more to that than just having the square with your fingers so the first thing you want to do is you want to understand that let's look at this guy's fist the fist is not really square it's basically kind of that square shape but when you turn it it's more like this it goes down like this because you have that high knuckle here so let's look at mine so if I did that when you if I'm just doing a fist just a regular fist it's still really not square but if I'm just if I'm really really mad and I'm, I'm you know really to just clock somebody you see how this goes up come on keep it on keep it on yeah this goes up to that point and it goes down and this kind of it, it's it's not really straight across it does kind of curve around so that's one of the first things that you want to understand I'm drawing the right hand so you're gonna have that and it's gonna come up and kind of curve around and let me get my glasses another thing is that when I used to start drawing fists I always took the fingers all the way up or the lines of the fingers all the way up I never knew that they didn't come all the way up. Even though I had a hand and I could have looked at my hand at any time, I never knew that they didn't come all the way up until one day I saw somebody's drawing and then I was like, wait a minute, that's that's right. So they don't come all the way up. So let's split it. One, two, three, and you have the fourth one. And let's cut this down a little bit. Like that. So we have that. So of course on top of that we're gonna have the knuckles. So we're gonna have the mountain here mountain there mountain here is the highest peak and then we have this one right there and then this is going to come curving down and then of course this finger here you see how this finger here is going to be higher than the other fingers these fingers they curve around but this one is going to be higher and even when you do to the side We'll do a side. We're going to do a side letter. This one is always tucked back. This is exaggerating, but this one's tucked back. But you see the top knuckle. You see that top knuckle and nothing else but this finger, this top knuckle, and this knuckle comes down. But we'll get into that when we do like the side fist. So right now, we get working on the front. Because most people, when, you're, when they're flying or when they throw a punch or just aiming their hand, getting ready to do a blast, most people have that front fist. And it kind of looks like this. So we're just going to, I'm just adding some shape to it to make your fist a little better. And doing hands, something I should have said at the beginning, if you're doing comics or some kind of character or something like that, the main two things that people focus on are the face and the hands. Because your face and your hands show the expression of that particular character that you want people to know. Whether if you're happy, of course, the face is going to have a smile. If you're mad, the face is going to have that frown. And yeah, you can blur on me if you want to. But then the, the, the hand, if you're happy, the hand is going to be relaxed or in some kind of like joy, happy position. Like, oh, I won the lottery. And if you're mad, you know, you're going to like, yeah, somebody about to get clocked. So those are the two things that you have to work on the most in the, the body. Because you show more face and hands than you show anything else. If he's holding a gun or a knife or whatever. Or if he's about to do battle, you, 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 people will focus on that hand. So it's good to have a good hand. So as I say, this one is going to, you're going to curve. They're going to curve at the bottom. This is going to come up and these are going to come down and then up 
and then up. Remember separating like that. Now this hand might be a little too low, as in I could I could make it a little higher. So let's do that now, just because. And hands are just it's just practice. That's all it is. That's one thing you cannot get away from when trying to draw hands. You can you can. I don't want to say try to draw it, but you can you can draw it all you want, but it's just practice. You're going to have to practice. It'll come one day. It'll just come one day. One day you'll be drawing and you're like, whoa, that, that's a nice hand because it just comes. And another thing is there's that split. Focus, if you will, focus. Always, always a trouble. When this comes up, there's this, this kind of split between these two, and these always kind of curve over toward the baby finger. So if this is the baby finger, it's going to curve here, curve here, and then you have that kind of a split there. And it's just a little bit like attention to detail to make your hand stand out um, more than anybody else's. And then you want to have your knuckles. You will see if like this one, you see that line down the center here? And it'll be the same way with the other ones. You have that center line coming down, and then you have that um, that bulge from your knuckles coming from there. But just knowing you have that center line that's going down there. Another thing is, and I should have like points, points to drawing a fist, is that when you look at it from the bottom, when you make a fist, because there are certain angles I want to try to cover, so I'm, I'm going to do quickly, that... When your hands are out, when your hand is open, when you close your fingers, your fingers don't come straight down. They actually curve in. Like you see, this finger is curving in this direction, going this way. This one curves into. This one's probably like the only one that centers, and this one curves in this way <clears throat> a little bit. So it's going to be like this, 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 and then this. These are your, your fingers are going to curve in, just like that. So continuing with the fist. Now, when you have the thumb, you have the you have this. Okay, so like you have this already. You have that, and it's going to curve. This is going to be higher. It's going to come down. It's going to come down and separate them. So you have that already. So concerning the thumb, the thumb is in like two sections. One, two. Well, you can say three with this little this little piece that comes around here. So you're always going to have it to come out like this come down and then curve around. If you notice, it's, like, it's kind of hard for the camera angle. And a lot of times, I always use the word depends, depends, because it depends on, depends is a strong word when drawing, because it depends on what you see or what you want the audience to see. So I can draw a thumb, I mean a thumb, I can draw a hand, but let's use this guy here. I might want it straight like that. I might want to show just a little bit of the, the underside or the palm. You know, I might want to turn it a little bit. So you can't say, or or an artist cannot say, when you watch a video, you can't have them say, this is how you draw this particular thing. Because if I say, this is how you draw a fist and let it go, there are many different slight turns and variations to a fist. So you can't say this is how you draw a fist and then just let it go because it's not, this is one way to draw a fist or this is the way that you would draw a fist coming straight at you. But as I say, you might, you might want to tilt your fist a little bit to show the palm or you want to turn it in just a little bit. So don't let anyone say on a video, this is how you do this particular thing. And that's just it. That's it. So turning it, that way or, or facing you, you may see some palm, you may not, depending on what you, what you want to draw, how you want to draw it. So this is going to be your front fist. Let me just ink this real quick. I really don't want this video to be really long, but I want to teach you guys. And this is going to come over the finger. And I think that's another reason why that finger is so short, because it's going to be uh, 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 fight it tucked over the over the thumb where this would push if a thumb came over here it push it down but this is short enough that the thumb can kind of like tuck up under there so we have that 
this little slit comes down. It's going to be more flat. Curve in a little bit. Flat. Curve in a little bit. And they're going to be here. And there's one thing about this part right here, the baby finger. You're going to have this little meat, this little piece right here. When you close your hand, this little piece comes out. You're squeezing that meat on your palm and it's making this part jump out like that. So you're going to have this little point here. So when you do a fist, you're going to have that same little piece come out. I mean, that's when you start to do like really crazy detail. You'll have it come out, but that's just something to show you guys. So we'll have this. Um, square that square that knuckle off a little bit down up down and up okay and I said you can you can do that if you choose to you don't have to but there it lies the fist so this part will come out a little bit and then you may see some palm of it like back in here you really won't see too much palm here unless you draw that part coming out a little bit more. Now, let's go to the side fist. Now, the side fist, you have two sides to the fist. And um, let's, do the, let's do the hard part first. Okay, so the side fist is going to be like this. Start out with that. It's almost like doing a triangle. It's like almost like coming into that triangle. Cut it out. So when you get to the inside of the, the thing, and this is, I noticed a lot of people get that wrong as well. When you get to the inside of it, you're going to see the three fingers. Let's do it like this. Let's see. When you do, it's kind of, it would be hard for me to turn my hand up. So this is why I'm using this thing. When you see this, this this part is going to come down and in, and let's see if I can get it to turn it. I could take the, actually take the pull the hand off of the arm, but it's just easier to keep it on the arm. So you're going to see the top of this palm here and how these fingers come in. So it's going to be like this. It's going to come in like this. You're going to have one finger here. You're going to have the second finger. It's going to go in like this. And the third finger is going to go in a little bit more like that. So it's kind of like down, in, in, like that. Focus, thank you. So now you have that little baby finger that comes in. You don't want to have it come all the way down. This actually, it goes up higher. This is the low, this is this, and this goes higher. So this one is going to be kind of like a J almost, or, or G. Yeah, J or G. And then you're going to have it tuck in, you're gonna have this and this, like the, the letter Y, like that. So the other one, you may see a little bit under the bottom, maybe not, and then the other one is the same thing. Now that's only three. Now you will see just a bit of that other thing, the other hand, because, ah, let's see if I can turn it up like this. You see the three, and I know it's upside down, and you may see the front of that finger you may you may not but usually just throw it in there to make it give it a good look and it's kind of hard to twist my finger twist my hand upside down but as i said you see the one that goes straight and it's really even harder doing this in the camera this goes straight this one second one come goes in and this third one goes in more and then you have that like that letter y going here and then that and you also from underneath that this 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 part, you see where this palm, this kind of like tucks up under into the palm. So you're going to have your palm come in, come out like that because this is pushing up into the palm. So you're going to have that. If you just do that Y, I mean, you can have extra, extra wrinkles, but if you do that Y, that it shows that it bends here, bends here, and this is the bend here. So you're going to have that. You also, from there, you're going to have that other part of the palm. You're going to have that fat part of the palm that comes down. Let's see if I can do this this way. It's going to come down here and then cut here. Because this is where your thumb is going to be at. So let's go back to the fingers. Ah, turn it upside down. You're going to see it's going to stop. It's going to stop. You're going to see the knuckle here. The knuckle here, and of course this knuckle there. Okay. 
So when you turn to the side, you may see that crease that makes it look like it's all one piece, but it's just a crease like that. And of course, like I say, because it slopes, it actually curves down like this. You're going to see this and these things curve down like that. So when you have your thumb, your thumb is going to, so you're going to have this, just a straight piece right here, almost like a square or uh, rectangle, rectangle square, same family. And then you're going to have just a round kind of an oval piece because your thumb is basically coming back towards you. Well, that might be a little, little long right here. So that thumb should be like way back here, but you can get away with it by just doing an oval kind of egg shape. So you put that there and then you have this little piece here, which is, how do I turn my hand? which is this right here, and then you have that little oval. So if you really did a hard fist, this is gonna come back, you have that. And you remember, you remember you have this part of the palm and you have the fat part of the palm here, there, like that. And then if you choose, you can put more wrinkles into the fingers, but that's only if you're kind of like doing a really close up of a hand or if you're trying to do real detail of, of a hand. So I'm ink this. Move something to the point of this. And as I say, it's it's more of a, a practice thing. You have to keep going and keep going and keep going. But if you're doing like a comic book, you'll get it. You because you're always drawing period, and you will get it. And then you have this little piece that tucks under here. And that is the, uh, what is that? That's, that would be the outside of, of your fist. So if you're doing the inside of your fist, let's go backwards. Kind of that same shape that, um, almost like drawing a triangle shape. And then what I do, I have this. Remember this finger sticks out, so this finger is gonna stick out a little bit, but of course this is a higher part right here. So this is gonna be a little lower, sticking out more. This is gonna be higher and going kind of straight down. Now, what I usually do here is I'll bring that, bring that in. And then where that comes in, I'll put this square right here, just this little rectangle piece right here. And that's going to tuck in there. And then what I'll do is I'll just curve it around. I'll just have a curve and that Y again. So it's, it's like a bent, it's like a, a, a leaning Y. So this is gonna be your thumb here, going into that curve, it's gonna come down come up and then you're going to have that palm and you're going to erase this. That's just kind of like a guy line. So it's going to curve around, have that come up and then curve into that palm. You won't see the other part of the palm because this is lower than that. So you won't see this on this fish here. You're going to have this one come in. Remember this one comes straight down and you may have just a little piece showing right there. The, the top part is kind of simple or the, or the, the um, outside is kind of simple, and then you have your your um, that little bone right here. Let's see if I can show you. What, let's do this one. It's kind of like that. Remember, this one comes out. This one comes comes straight down the knuckle. And this one is here. I'm trying to get a good angle of it. The knuckle is here. The other knuckle is here. This comes straight down. This comes out more in and around. And you just do that letter Y because this whole thing curves around. This whole piece curves around here and then you have this little this little square piece here and then you can if, if the pin you can have this little piece for the thumb there but sometimes I don't do that because I'll have it where it's tucked under uh, the way I draw it you just you just have this and the other piece of the thumb is so far tucked under you really don't see it so I just got my ink pen let's ink this
So this one's gonna come out and then in. I'm gonna have that Y. And then because this, let's see if I can do that with a blue pencil. So this one is gonna tuck up in here and here. So that's why I just have that curve and that Y like that. And that gives you that, that the impression that it's tucked up under there. Then I'll bring it down. And you want to have a good translation from here to here. You don't want to have it like uh, something coming up like this and then that. Bring the paper back so people can see it. And then, of course, you're going to have this bend here. You're going to have this one come here and then straight down and maybe a little bit of it down here. And then just slope this down. And you have that fist and you have like maybe a little bit of meat right here that you can to show that this part is bulged like this. You have that meat right here. So by just doing that, and this is a burn, I burnt this. Go back and check out the other video. I burnt this a while back. So yeah, just to do a couple little hash lines to give it that um, puppy look, puppy look. And then if you choose, you can have like just part of the thumb right there, the way the thumb is bent. And as I say, I usually don't draw that other piece of the thumb because it just it just kind of makes it look like it's not tucked in all the way. If you're really mad, you're gonna have that fist like really tight. You won't have that piece of thumb sticking out like that. You see the difference between, you know, this and this, it's just not, yeah. So I really don't show that thumb. I just have this little square piece right here and I just end it. All right, let's do up, so more, of a, uh, more of a up uh, kind of thing. And I'll show you what I was talking about with the fingers. So it kind of kind of crap my finger, can't crap my hand up holding my fist tight like that. Okay, so the first thing is, let's get this out of the way, is you're gonna have, let's go with your square because always use your shape first, square. When I do a hand, especially when I open, and this is kind of how I taught myself to do it, I did the square, center line, center line. So you have your little plus symbol, or basically you have your window. So you have two fingers here, so I would put like two holes here, and you have two fingers right there. I have my palm, I split it right here, so it's like kind of goes past this line around here, and the other one goes up kind of towards the finger, like that. Once you have that, it's pretty much easy. Another thing about the hand is, now I'm jumping into the hand, I'm using this hand because I'm drawing left hand. Let me draw this. You have your wrist. So your wrist comes as that was another thing I, I really never knew when I was young. The wrist comes here and this comes out. You have more hand over here because it is palm. I always thought that this was your hand like this. One, two, three, four. My thumb was here and my palm was like that. Like that. I always thought it was like that, but it actually goes in because of this, this fat palm. If you look at my hand, you see this can almost go straight across and this one comes up and then your hand goes way out there. So just remember that when you're drawing that fist because it's the same thing. That, that you're gonna have a small wrist compared to how far this comes out. So you have this, so then you know. So let's do the fingers, let's do the fingers. We're gonna take the fingers and we're gonna bend them back so right away you see that it's going to curve it's going to curve like that it's going to be that that curve line so what i tend to do well keep going the this finger is going to hit that palm so you have your square going back to it you have your square which is this you have your halfway mark which is where the palm comes up at the halfway mark then when you bring that fingers down it's going to come kind of into that halfway mark so it's going to be into that that uh, thing so what I tend to do is just I'll do oval keeping it <clears throat> keeping it coming around oval oval and oval now remember this one is going to come in this one's going to come in this one's going to be straight down and this one's going to come in just a little bit so this is just how I start now the hard part is like taking this and then you start angling, angling it a little bit. Now I'll try to kind of get into that a little bit more, a little bit. So we'll just do this, 
coming in. So you have to, you have to, what am I doing? Okay, no, that's, that's, I'm showing you this part. Separate. This one's gonna come in. And this one's gonna come more in like that. So remember this palm is there, this one is there. And that thumb, that thumb is going to, the thumb, you have this, the thumb is going to come across, across here. So if you have this circle here, I'm trying to get my hand right. So I'm gonna have it up here. This is gonna come up. Depending on how mad, you know, see if I'm just like, just do a little fist. But if I'm mad, that thing is gonna come all the way across here. So you're gonna have this, you're gonna have this little square piece right here. It's gonna come, it's gonna hook up here, comes up. A little oval and then this other piece is going to come around and of course you're going to have your 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 um your what am i calling it your, the lines you like kind of like your wrinkle lines comes here and then again as i say you're going to have this kind of this piece of meat here you're going to have this coming out and coming back in now, doing this, I can bring this in. You're going to, you, go, you have this line here. You have this bend line, which is going to come across as well. So that's what that bend on these fingers are going to be at right there. Now, I can bring this down more. I can bring this whole thing down. Let me ink it. I can bring this whole line down. So do this. Am I, am I staying on camera here? This is going to be the highest one. And these fingers are a little too small. And also you will see some meat here. Bring it in. I could have brought this one like in way in like that. The, the tighter your fingers come down the more uh, um, uh, emotion you're showing with that fist. And then your bend lines. And then this palm would come up a little bit more and then you'd have just a little bit of this where it's going in at. And then remember what this comes in and then this goes like that. And you'd have some wrinkle lines there and you have your top of your bend right there. If you're going to do your fingernail, fingernail would be there. If you do fingernails, it'll be here, 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 and then there. And that is a ratty looking fist. All right, so what I would have done is just more like that. Curve it around because as I said, the, the, the matter you are, or the more your fist clenches, the more it's going to come down like that. Yeah, I'm cramping up too. But just remember that when you do your fist. I brought this over a little bit more, but you're going to see a lot of this here. Could have brought that over more or just made the hand a little smaller. But just remember it's going to come in, in. Kind of straight down and then it's going to come in just a little bit more almost like wolverine's claws we're not drawing wolverine brian we're not drawing wolverine all right so there was something i was going to show you that didn't work out because i couldn't show you how to do it so what i want to do here this is an old drawing it might have been from my last video it might have been just some sketches that i was doing prior to the video but since i did it this way and i didn't give this guy any hands let me show you how i would tend to do a fist usually you do a square I'll do the circle just to throw something up there. But doing a fist, it all depends on how you want the fist. So I would do the square. I always do a box like that to show the size of the fist or the direction that the fingers are bending by doing this top part of that box. So because you know the palm is, is here, I'll do that box and then I'll do that thumb. That thumb is there. And then you have that curve on that thing. 
So now you just have to be able to get your fingers right. One, two, three, and then the fourth one is there. Remember, this is high, this is low, like that. So then I will do the fingers. Let's see if I can do this with this brush. And a lot of times you will have small hands, but you still have to, to make it to where it looks right and is actually conveying that story. Coming down, and then you have that palm here. And this blue is not good. It's bad for my re reflection. This light, my light, is just reflects certain colors worse than other colors. So then I have my thumb here, and I may have that little piece there. One, two, three, and then my fourth one is going to be lower, and you may see the bottom of it. So I will ink that to see what I have. And it'll be the same way with this other one here if I am trying to do this one here. Switch back to red, switch back to red. Kind of square it off. I have my fingers, depending on where, how, where I want my fingers, how much of a twist you want on a thumb. This is why I say it depends no one can say this is how you draw something. This is how you draw that something in that in that angle that they are drawing it in. So once you get the square and you get that thumb, you kind of know, you know, you're halfway good. Then you just, you put your palm and then you have your fingers, the angle for your fingers. One, two, three, and the fourth one comes in. And this is gonna bend. And since you're seeing the palm open, you're going to actually see some of the bottom part of the finger, fingers. So it's going to be like that. You see this one and you see that one comes in and you have your smaller part of the palm. Let me see if I can get a really, 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 really tiny pen to do this. So. That. And your paper, make sure it's not blurry. I'm sorry, this is a really small thing, but but what I just forgot what I was gonna say. But it was just something I saw and I grabbed it real quick. As I say, you'll see the bottom parts of some of those fingers. And then with this one. Can't have open part of the finger like that. You can, you don't have to. And then this here, this one comes down, tucks under. And then you have that palm <clears throat> right there. I definitely, definitely need more light in my room because this is, it's really hard to see. So, yeah, following those instructions on doing the fist. Majority of it was square. How do you want your fist? Which, which direction do you want your fist? Do your square in the direction that you wanted your fist. Find your thumb. Your thumb is going to be here, right? Then you do your fingers. One, two, three, and here's the fourth one. Remember, if you're on the inside, it's going to come up and it's going to be your palm here. It's going to come down at an angle. This one's going to stick out more. This one's going to go in, in, and in more. And then you twist that up and have that Y, that letter Y. Then you have your... Um, I was going to say ankles knuckles here well, I just lost that I just so many lines one two three and four and then you see the top part of your palm like that and this is just a quick quick crazy looking fist like that and then you'll see some maybe some part of the palm depending on the angle of it but if you draw that square first 
or however you decide to draw a fist, you just continue to draw a square using this. Let's just say his fingers were like this. I draw that square. And the thumb is going to be on the outside, I believe. Then you separate your fingers. You have your small part of the palm and the upper part of the palm. Curve this all, curve this out, and then you got it. Same thing here. So since you won't see anything, it's going to be like that. And the thumb is going to be tucked under like that. If you want to see just pieces of the finger, you would do something like that. And that's really small in the monitor anyway. Hopefully when it's, when it's in editing, it'll look a little better. So no more square thumbs like this. No more this. Angle it. If you're doing the other side, it's going to go down like this. If you have two finger, two fists like that. The other thumb is going to come out, fly like that. It's not going to go all the way up. It's going to, the fingers are going to go kind of curve in a little bit. This is the Y. This here, this higher, and coming down like that. The more you curve it, the more you tuck it. If you want to see a little bit of finger underneath there, you just add that to it. So my finger stops here and here, and I want to show a little bit to it. Just add a little piece under the bottom like that. And your thumb, of course, goes out, and you may see some palm. You may not. So that's going to be it for this quick video of drawing the fists. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the notification bell so whenever I do more videos, you'll be right there on top of it. So, throw my pins down, class is over. Yeah, see you later. Fists, fists, fists. All right, I'm out.